for the second figure from Wave 2 of DC Universe Classics, I'm going to be doing Black Manta. Now, Black Manta first appears in Aquaman number 35 in 1967. And he's been a major foe of Aquaman ever since. Now, his origin is not really, uh, not much known about him. Uh, I believe in the last series, uh, it was revealed that he was autistic, and that's where his fascination with uh, the undersea world and uh, just sort of taking over, destroying Atlantis, and taking whatever riches the sea has to offer came from. Uh, he was cured of that in that series, but uh, still retained his uh, sort of uh, un, you know, pillage approach to uh, the seas. Now, let's get into the figure. And he has this great, great diving helmet. And scuba pack, which actually converts the water from water to air for him to breathe. And his eyes fire some sort of beam. Now, the figure, since he is basically just wearing a black wetsuit is kind of plain, but that's all right. I don't fault it for that because that's what he looks like. However, they really went into detail on the pack and the helmet. You can see there's all sorts of neat little details in it and his face match or his helmet rather looks very intimidating and he comes with a trident to uh to fight Aquaman's trident with and it's nice very nice there as you can see it's got a little barb on the end and nice smooth mechanical uh, or machine shaped look to it whereas Aquaman's has sort of a net more naturalistic look to it. Sort of summing up the characters and their uh, positions. Or, that's nice. Now, he is a human, but unfortunately, there's no way they could get a human face in there. What's odd is that also in the last Aquaman series it was revealed that Black Manta is actually black which uh, depending upon your views uh, you may think is pretty silly or pretty cool uh, to have to, to be a black person and name yourself black whatever whether it be black panther black lightning uh, and so on and so forth that's one of the funny things about comic book characters that wouldn't necessarily happen in real life so anyway I didn't say it's a really nice 
figure and a really great counterpoint to the Aquaman figure. So that's Black Manta.